Now here's an intriguing problem with a simple solution if the conservation of energy is invoked. Acrobat Bari stands atop an elevated platform. He steps off the platform and lands on the end of a seesaw that propels his friend Ari into the air, as routinely happens in a circus. Now here's the problem to be solved. Bari, mass big M, drops upon the right end of the seesaw and ideally propels Ari, mass little m, upward into the air. Compared with Barry's initial height h, what maximum height y will Ari reach? Before we attempt a solution, what's going on here? First, the problem states that Ari is ideally propelled upward. The term ideal means we can neglect inefficiencies such as air resistance, friction, or heat generated as the seesaw rotates and hits the ground. Is this going to be a complex energy transfer problem? One where we'll have to find the velocity of Barry at the bottom of his jump from his acquired kinetic energy? And then do similarly for Ari as he acquires kinetic energy to propel himself upward? Is this one of those messy problems? Not if we apply the conservation of energy. All we need to do is to look at the initial and end points. Since the system is ideal, initial and final energies are the same. So let's equate Ari's acquired potential energy at the top of his trajectory, where his kinetic energy reaches zero, to Bari's initial potential energy. In equation form, that means potential energy of Ari equals potential energy of Bari, or mgy Ari equals big M G H Bari, where y is the maximum height to which Ari is propelled. H is the height Bari drops. The small m is Ari's mass and the capital M is Bari's mass. Then we see in canceling g's, hey you know what? The problem is solved. The solution tells us that the relative heights of Ari and Barry depend upon their relative masses. If the masses of Ari and Barry are the same, then Ari will rise just as far as Barry drops. Or if Ari has half the mass of Barry, Ari will be propelled to twice the initial height of Barry. Hats off to the conservation of energy. Or as we like to say, yum. Now I want to leave you with a question. Suppose Barry drops a vertical distance of four meters to the seesaw. If Ari is replaced with a circus dog, Bo, who has one-fifth the mass of Barry, and the Bo's trainer, Mo, is positioned 20 meters high for a hoped-for catch, will Bo's propulsion be enough to reach Mo? Until next time, good energy. Mm -hmm.